Hello my darlings and welcome to another Bedroom Guru with me, Nikki Allen. How are you doing? I hope you've had the best Christmas you possibly can. Some of you, however, have sent me emails to say how much you've struggled over the Christmas period. And yeah, it, it, it can be tough, can't it? As I said before in my Christmas message, some of us um, won't be looking forward to Christmas as much as other. Plus, COVID has had a nice little firm boot into the festivities. But we can't let that get us down. So it got me thinking. And this is what I thought. I'm going to be providing, whilst I'm on my rest period during the festive time, as you can see, I'm still lovely <laughs> dressed in my sparkly, sparkly star dressing gown. I thought I would do a cosmic ordering guided meditation for you. I haven't recorded it yet. I'm going to be doing it later on at some point, ready for the new year. So we've had a rubbish year, haven't we? Let's face it with COVID. Lots of lots of problems there. Lots of people obviously have had COVID or have experienced it with family and friends. Some people have lost people. It's been an awful, awful year. There's been massive confusion and massive frustration to do with what's going on even waiting for a delivery everything has just been a complete nightmare so let's just move on from that as you always know part of my life philosophy is is that we have to let go of what no longer serves us to move forward so this gave me the inspiration for the cosmic ordering guided meditation which will most probably go out um perhaps new year's day it depends when i've got the energy to do it darlings i'll try and get it done but don't worry i'll get it done hopefully this week and what it is it's about um calling upon certain angels which will be on in the guided meditation on how to manifest what you want for the future irrespective of covid it doesn't matter we need to get ourselves focused on what we want to aspire to what goals we wish to achieve even if it's just going on a diet giving up smoking going to a new home whatever it is that you're aiming for um it's always helped along by the angels i love it because if there's anything i want to aspire to i want to achieve i always send a thought out and go right this is what i want to do i write it out and then i obviously speak to my angels go thank you this is what i like let it go send it out to the universe and just wait with a really positive expectancy that it will be delivered and it always is i live in complete abundance it's not hard work at all everything i want to aspire to just comes um if it's for the greater good okay so if you want the lottery numbers don't think it's going to happen, darlings. Unless you just need it to cover a bill, then it might. I've had that happen before. Um, so, yes, I'm going to be doing that guided meditation. What I would like for you to do in between, if you've got some time, you know, this is a kind of lull, isn't it? Um, especially if you're on furlough. This is a lull between Christmas festivities and the new year. And so if you've got a, five, a spare five minutes, time to put my teeth back in, write down everything that you want to achieve and aspire to this year think hard about it have a good think have a good sit down for 10 minutes and write a list down if you have soul journals like i always say about then put them in your soul journals what you want to aspire to i'm going to be doing it very shortly um everything whether it's material emotional spiritual relationships whatever it is that you want to aspire to for this year write it out okay and then have it in your mind, because when you do the guided meditation, all of these things will then come to mind for you to then push them out there to the universe and wait for them to be delivered. And it doesn't even matter if you believe in it or not. I certainly didn't until it was proven to me, as you'll know from my book, Me, Myself and I. And I was like, no, this isn't really going to happen until I started drawing things and ordering things that then delivered themselves quite spookily. Um, so it really, really does work. And it's very, very simple. You don't have to do a lot of hard work with this one. I'll do the main work for you, taking you on the guided meditation. Um, but actually writing down what you want to achieve, writing down the changes that you want to happen, anything at all that you want to have. It's almost like you've got a genie standing in front of you saying, what do you want? Go for it. OK, and that's what we're, we're aiming for here. Um, and then once that list is there, I would suggest going over it and getting it clear in your mind before you do the guided meditation if you want to do it and then wait for the results but it's no it's not worth going what's well, been a week where is it it's been a month where is it it's been four months where is it you've got to remember that everything is defined every time i do these i get an itchy ear to put a spirit people coming nearby but everywhere um sorry everything that you aspire to obviously comes do you remember i say to you in spikes of energy when it's supposed to happen Everything is divinely timed. And my God, if I had to wait to the 11th hour sometimes when I think it's not going to happen, and it does. Okay, so you've always got to focus on the end goal rather than how to get there. 
So focus on the end goal, know it's coming and let it go, all right? They could take you through God knows what for you to get there, but there's a reason for that. Don't ask me why, but there is. And there's lessons to be learned from the journey of getting from where you are now to where you want to be. So patience is key. Trust is key. Send it out. Believe and know, create a reality in it, which I'll show you in the guided meditation and then let it go and then just wait for the magic to happen because it really does work. OK, so, you know, the new year, I, I was listening to the radio yesterday and it was saying, yeah, new year, there's a party going on. Oh, I think it was FM or something, seven hours and we're going to welcome the new year. And most people are like, really? It's another year of COVID. Change your energy. Let's change it to everything's going to be amazing. Everything's going to change this year. We're going to rebuild. We're going to regrow and just learn from what's happened before and go forward. That's the best way of doing it. <clears throat> so that's where I want you to be in that sort of energy. Maintain that energy as much as you can because it will serve you well. Trust me. Um, so I just want to prepare you for the meditation that's coming up and getting yourself ready to be in a high vibrational energy from the word go for the new year coming. Best way to be as well, okay? Um, even if you want to do it New Year's Eve, you know, it's almost like blowing on a birthday cake and making the wish. Send those wishes out just as the new year's coming in because, again, it will work really well for you. All right, so good luck with that. The other thing I wanted to share, which is a bit of a personal thing, and I really would like your help, um, I have a friend, I've, I've known her since I was about 12, um, so I've only known her 10 years. <laughs> Debbie, my beautiful, oldest, longest, closest friend, Debbie. And when she was a young woman, um, she was an air hostess and full of life, funny as you like, bright, um, positive, always laughing, absolute joy. And she had a catastrophic stroke. And I actually sat with her when they'd induced a coma in the hospital. And I healed her in the ICU all night. I put an amethyst band on her wrist and I was healing her mind, her head area with the selenite wand. Um, throughout the whole night they basically told all the family to join together so didn't know if she's going to make it because her brain was swelling from the stroke it's a very scary and very horrific time and i never forget it the early hours of the morning because they said look you know just nothing's improving here they painted a really really bad picture so i don't know if it was a healing i don't know if it's the angels or just a medical phenomena but i will never forget that she just laid there so still and then suddenly she started pulling at the amethyst band that I had on her wrist and it was obviously annoying her and I thought oh my god thank god she's aware that something's irritating her so I took um the bangle off or the, the bracelet off and she just opened her eyes very briefly and then went back to sleep and I thought my god she's going to be okay and she was and she grew stronger from there the effects however were horrific um Deb can't communicate very well she can't she can't talk very well she still remains exceptionally positive, exceptionally positive. You always hear her laughing, despite the fact that um, her mobility is very much um, depreciated. She can't read properly. She can't write properly. And, you know, she really shut out from the main world. Um, and so I sent her my book, not even thinking about it, to be fair, um, that she can't read it. Her brain can't take on the words that she's reading. And um, I've just had a call from her carer to say she's absolutely over the moon and really wants to read my book. And in fact, read anything. You know, letters, correspondence, just another bit of independence. And um, I said, oh my gosh, she goes, is there any way, is there an audio book? I said, no, I don't think they're doing an audio book of it. I think that's for like big posh people, not me. And so she said, well, there is a pen and this pen basically runs over letters. And when the letters are acknowledged through this pen, it voices the words, which is phenomenal because it's going to give her the independence to be able to read anything now. Because, you know, she's, you know, she's got her, her daughter um, 
and it, it would just be really lovely for her to be able to connect with the real world again and be able to read things online and understand them as well as books, letters, correspondence, magazines um, and the pen costs £260. Um, I'm going to put as much as I can in, but I'm going to be doing a GoFundMe page on my Facebook page, Nikki Allen. And I would love, I would love just as to say, I don't know, thank you for what I do for you, whatever it is. I'm going to be begging on this one to just put a little donation in for me. And do you know what? The amount of followers I've got, even if someone puts 50p in, we can reach that goal. And anything that goes over the amount for the pen I'll be giving to the Stroke Association um, because, you know, I've, I've known a lot of people in my family that have had strokes. Um, luckily, they've, they've been quite minimal, but this one floored her and nearly killed her. And um, to give her the independence to be able to read and connect back with the world again, especially during COVID as well, will be formidable. Um, so please, if you've got it in you, I would really appreciate it. And I don't ordinarily do this. I don't. I don't ask for money. I never do. But this is really important for me and for people with strokes. And if we could even get, you know, God, can you imagine if I got a thousand or something, I could give that to the association and that would really, really make my day and obviously Deb's. Um, so if you would love to, even if it's 50p, even if it's a dollar, um, Please, if you could go over to my Facebook page, Nikki Allen, okay, it's on my page, not profile. Um, I think I'll put it on both. I think I have to share it everywhere, can't I? Um, I would really, really appreciate that because I want to give her the gift of being able to re-communicate um, through word, through word. Um, and she's so excited about getting the book and she can't read it. I'm absolutely gutted. And, you know... Even a carer started to try and read it for her, but a carer's only got a certain amount of time with her. And obviously that's for other important things to help Deb on a daily basis. So she can't sit there reading the book all day. Um, and I just feel that it's really important that people that have had massive strokes that can't communicate, you know, have got the ability to understand words and be reconnected into the Internet and, and to reading again. I think it's really important. Um, so anyway, that's my little, um, please, please just give me just anything, 50p, a penny, anything, because, you know, all together we will make this target and hopefully make more for stroke victims. So I'm just asking if you could do that, that would be brilliant. Let's start that, you know, oh my God, I just pray to the angels that people find it in their heart to just give this bit of money. Um, and the GoFundMe will be on there. My GoFundMe um, link will be on there. And all of my other sites, Twitter, Instagram, um, and all the other ones, LinkedIn. And it would just be so wonderful if we could give her that pen for the new year because it's going to change her life. A simple, simple little pen is going to change her life. Um, and wouldn't it be amazing if I could give more to the um, Stroke Association? That would be just amazing. Um, and if I had it in me, and if COVID wasn't a problem, I'd be doing an evening now just to make the money for them, but I can't. So this is the only way forward that we can do it. Um, and again, I will be picking um, someone who has done, who has put money in and, and sending them a free book as well, um, a personalised copy of my book as well. Um, so let's try and make this happen and set a really good vibration, one that you've given to a really worthy cause and two, that my best friend, one of my oldest friends can reconnect with the world through words. That would be amazing. Anyway, darlings, it's all about positive vibration. It's all about doing good deeds. It's all about starting off as you mean to go on throughout the year, because what you give out is what you get back. Trust me on that. It's fact. Yin and yang sending things out to the universe, attraction, it all works and it all is part of this massive, beautiful universe that what we give out is what we attract. So change that mindset if it's in a bit of a, God, it's really rubbish at the moment. Stay positive. Your mindset, as I keep telling you, is the most important part of your being. So if you um, want to share this to people that will benefit from knowing that I'm going to be doing the God of Meditation, please do. Please leave your comments below. Um, stay in contact as you always do. Um, I am having a bit of a rest period at the moment. Um, so deliveries may be a bit delayed at the moment if anybody places any orders in. Um, 
I just need to take a rest so that I can start working my way up to getting back into the swing of things next week. I wish you the happiest new year that you possibly can. And please, 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 when those chimes start for the new year, have nothing in your mind but positivity and what you want to aim for in life. Don't think of all the negative things that have taken place because it will serve you well. Okay, my lovelies, I love you all. I really hope you had the best Christmas you can. Rest up, enjoy this time, use it for good. Do things that you like, read good things, do good things, colour in whatever it is that floats your boat. Do positive things that are going to keep your mind positive. And I will speak to you very soon. God bless you all, I'll speak to you soon.